Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I have something very special to show you guys. And this is a grow box that was created by Christopher. Um, Chris and I have been working together for a while. Uh, we do projects like the KCD garden together. And um, uh, we, we talked all the time about gardening because Chris and I have the same passion. And uh, we just love to grow stuff. So um, on multiple occasions, we discussed uh, growing systems like the arrow garden and stuff like that. And uh, Chris decided that he's going to make his own. So the unit right here is actually what Chris created from scratch. So everything about this unit is custom made. Like uh, the grow box right here, uh, the water reservoir was 3D printed. The uh, net pot for the system is also 3D printed. The light hood uh, was created by Chris. Actually, he, he buys those uh, uh, LED strips and he, he made the panel. And so basically everything was uh, either parts or was put together by Chris. So uh, I'm really excited about this. And I turned it on yesterday, it works great. Uh, it's, it's going to be controlled by your iPhone. And uh, the panel is actually really powerful. Um, the arrow garden I have, uh, the, the hood is about, I think it's 45 watts. And I think this light hood here is uh, either 100 or 110 watts. So it's a very, very strong system. So uh, let's take a closer look. I'm going to show you the detail of uh, the, the unit. And then uh, if you follow along in the future, I'm going to do some growing stuff in here. And also Chris and I have plans to do uh, like a grow off. So uh, we're going to choose plants and then uh, both of us will grow the same thing and just have a, like a friendly challenge and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, let's take a look. I'm really excited to show you guys uh, what it's all is about and uh, put it to use in the future. Okay, so here is the unit. So uh, we will start with um, the custom made um, sort of like uh, net cup holders. So Chris gave me two um, plates here and one is actually for, you know, like vegetable and herbs and stuff like that. And then there's this other one where you can add something additional. But um, uh, these here has four slots. You can grow herbs and vegetables, uh, nothing, uh, you know, something that doesn't get too, too large. And then I specifically asked for one with uh, just a center hole. And this is going to be for peppers because you guys know peppers can get enormous and it'll drink really fast and take up all the space. So I asked Chris to print me uh, this here where it only has one in the middle. So everything can come apart. So this, this reservoir system here, uh, I don't know exactly how uh, many gallons this is. I'll, I'll have to check, but um, it's a decent size uh, reservoir. I, I, I think it may be uh, two gallons or, or something like that, but we'll have to check. And here is the air stone. So you basically let the air stone go through there, put this on top. There's a slot right here where the, the tube can, can be positioned like so. There you go. And then you put your plant right there, turn on the vent hood. Okay, so that is the reservoir. And this was created in, uh, by Chris in Norway. So he has to actually convert the voltage to uh, the US voltage. So uh, the unit at the bottom here, it, it actually has a fan uh, in, internally that blows all the time to keep the system cool. And there's an on and off switch right here, the power cord. And uh, when you turn this on, uh, you're going to have to also use the phone to do the settings, which is a great feature because it just doesn't just come on and off. So you turn it on and then you use your phone to do the settings. So the settings will allow you to um, uh, set what time the system comes on. Uh, if you want the, uh, the pump on or off, uh, how powerful you want the light, like 50%, 100%. So basically like, like semi dimming function. Okay, and on top here we have the light hood and you can see this hole here and in there there is actually a fan and that is a really really nice quality fan by Noctua, Noctua I think. <laughs> so if, if you're into computers um, and you have replaced uh, fans before, 
uh, you would know the brand of this fan. It's a very high quality fan and it's very efficient and very, very low noise. And that is uh, what, what it's known for. And I actually have a, a huge fan in my, uh, with the same brand that I, I built for my gaming system. So um, I use the same Noctua um, fan. Okay, so the light hood here, uh, as I mentioned, I think it's 110 or 100 watts, and all of the the the, the hood w was uh, custom built. So Chris uh, bought the LED strips and stuff like that and put it all together. Those all of those diodes right there, uh, these are strips which he bought and put together. And there's actually a brand uh, he put on here. It's the MTN Garden Christopher Branzo. So it's actually his own brand. And then the uh, the stand here, the hood, you can raise it. It goes uh, all the way up to, I think, 36 inches or even more. I, I, I don't know the exact spec, but you can uh, turn this and then raise it or lower it. Okay, so that is basically the, the, the systems. Most of these systems are pretty easy. And uh, it's just the reservoir, the, the fan, the light, and all that stuff. So let's turn it on and I will let you take a look. Okay, so here is the app. So the first thing we do is we switch it on. And then you go to your Wi-Fi and then it'll, it'll show uh, the unit and then you connect to the unit. And then you go to your local, which is the, the garden settings and it is on so uh here you can see that um there's many different settings you got the base temperature of your um of your system it's in celsius because <laughs> chris is from norway and i'm from the us and uh you see it it tells you the temperature of the led and everything and also um like uh, the brightness, you can set the brightness and it'll slowly bright, get brighter and brighter and brighter until it reaches the settings of, uh, of what you placed here at the max. So you can go to 100. Uh, depending on what plants you're growing, you may have to set it less because this is a very strong light. 100 uh, watts for a little unit like this here uh, could be very strong and it could burn some of the plants. So you, can, you need to try to reduce it. So you can play around with the settings here. And uh, it, it tells you the, the upper limits of your fan and stuff like that. So um, Chris has already pre-configured this uh, through his testing. So he found that uh, 30 here and 28 gives it the best result. And uh, that's where he placed it. And then, of course, your time, your time zone. And then you can, you know, set it on. So right now I have it on um, or never turn off. So you, you can change this uh, anytime you want and that would uh, control when uh, it turns on and when it turns off. So if you put zero, zero, zero for everything, it'll be on forever. And then the, the, the pump here, you can actually turn it on and turn it off. So if you click that, you, you hear that click, it, it shuts off the pump. So you can manually configure and uh, do the pump, the light, uh, the intensity, uh, how, how, how strong you want it and everything here it tells you on the screen so your light is still going right there is that 31 brightness now i set it to 80 so it's going to keep moving until it reaches 80 and it will stop so uh this is the first uh, version so there's still uh, more that chris is going to uh, add to this and make it more user uh, friendly and more efficient and so uh everything looks great so far so basically simple very nice uh, simple setup the unit is awesome you you can pick the color because it's 3d printed and um everything has been 3d printed he print the cups here the cups fit right into there and uh this top layer is also 3d printed the hood and everything everything is basically 3d printed and uh very simple elegant design you choose the color i chose black and white because that's the color that i want uh, chris has a blue one and he's been growing like a habanero it's a it's an enormous plant so i will link you to the video where he grew the 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 plants and you can see uh, how beautiful and um, nice his habanero plants look so uh that is basically it i just wanted to show you the unit that chris gave me as a gift this is a very very special unit to me uh, we talked about it a while back and i can't believe it's here so I, i'm gonna put it to good use very very soon i'm probably gonna start with um uh some vegetable so i can get to use to the unit learn it and and uh, you know 
adjust intensity and all that stuff and see what it needs and then once i get better at it and, and i can have it everything dialed in then i'm going to use uh, it to grow like peppers and all these other cool things so uh yeah i hope you enjoyed the video that is uh the unit that chris uh, gave to me as a present so uh it's really cool because you know i have air garden unit and i just love that thing and i can't believe chris actually made one on his own now everything is custom made so again thank you chris and uh i look forward to uh doing a grow off with you guys or with you <laughs> i think i'm the only one that has the unit besides chris so thank you so much for watching please like comment and subscribe